Welcome to the introductory tutorial for the Joomla Access the MP3 chart. The MP3 chart is the perfect module for DJs and music sites. It's a great little tool for DJs who want to go ahead and put their top 10 list or their top 25 list or just about any type of list. The module will handle um, up to 25 entries. It's also good for bands who might want to showcase their new tracks or their set list and also for bloggers if they want to go ahead and put in like a top 10 list or anything. So let's jump in and check this out. As you see we have some really nice default styles here. These styles all come with the module. You've got a blue version, a green version, a red version, a purple version, and then we've got some more styles here I'm going to show you in a moment. But let's go ahead and check out the features here. It does have a HTML5 based MP3 player and when you press it it has nice CSS3 hover and close based on the color. You also have the ability here to go ahead and open the image in a model. And like I said before, you've got your 10 to 25 or whatever. You can have one, two, three, doesn't matter how many. A nice thing too here is you can have multi-modules on a page. So if you're over here and you're listening to this one, and you go over here and you click on this one, that one automatically stops. And so let's go ahead and check out some more things here about it. We also have some more demos here. Now this one is a SoundCloud chart. Um, and if you don't want to actually upload your own mp3s to your media folder and then select them in the back end, you can just go ahead and paste the SoundCloud embed code in here and use it as a SoundCloud chart. You see it works fine. It has this. And then here's a more advanced styling of it. Right here we've got, this is the header. You've got a header part for the module to where you can put your own custom HTML and CSS or embed codes. Right here I've embedded a, a SoundCloud a mix. And then here is your list. You've got your track description here. As you see we've added a nice little JavaScript fly up so you just put your description in here. There's a buy now or download button. This is just a link that you put in the back end. So you could link it to uh, iTunes or to wherever you're selling your product. Or you could go ahead and make that a download button and go ahead and link it right to an MP3 or to a place where they can download it. And now let's go back and look at the original page. And let me show you the responsive features. It's um, totally responsive. So let me scroll over here. And now we're going to see the second window. This is the Duo browser I'm using for the Macintosh. If you run a Mac system, you might want to check the Duo browser on the App Store because it's really useful in building your site and checking out the responsive and the normal layout at the same time. So here, as you see, this is what you're going to see on a phone. We've got a nice layout here. Down. Here's our next one, and like I said before, this all works on devices for the MP3 chart. So let's go ahead and check out the back end here real quick. So we're here in the module manager, and we're going to go ahead and check the green chart out. And we open it up, and you see here we've got the tracks that you put in, and here you can select the position and this is nice too because if you're actually going to be changing the tracks up per week like let's say the first week uh, this track strobic is going to be number one but then you want to move it to number two you don't have to go ahead and go down here and switch it all out you can just select the position from right here then you've got your track file and you just go ahead and upload your mp3s to your media folder inside of Joomla and you've got your whole list right there. Same here for the thumbnail. Here's the artist name, the track title, the label that it's on, and the track description. And that goes 1 through 25. Over in the advanced area, you've got your layout. As you see, we've got the dark style, the default, simple blue through the red. 
Here's the chart header, and this is where you put in any custom HTML you want, or embed codes, or even a plugin if you want to go ahead and, you know, do a load position and put in the VirtuMart uh, module or something. You've got your footer if you needed some footer. Auto start. This will start playing the first track automatically. This is only available when you have one instance of it on a page, because obviously you don't want to have, you know, 16 charts on a page and all of them start playing at the same time. Auto jump means that it'll play the next track automatically as well. It only works with one instance of the module on a page and same with the play mode. You can have it go ahead and play and then if you hit the uh, pause button it'll either stop it or pause it. And here's your download and buy link mode right here. So it open in the same window or open in a new window. So let's go over now and let's check out the SoundCloud chart show you how that was set up. So all we did here was we went to SoundCloud and we grabbed their embed code for their small player and just popped the iframe code right in there in the track title. The tracks will not display unless they're in the, a title. If there's no title then it's not going to display anything. So you can just throw your SoundCloud or any embed code right in there and it will display and it will go ahead and put the embed code out there. And as far as that header part is concerned, let's go here to the top 25 chart where I had the header. So we're going to go ahead and look at this now. And this is the markup that I used to go ahead and put my image here, my title, and some information. And then here I just put the SoundCloud player right in there so we could have a little mix in there. So that's how I did the header part. And that's basically it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.